Good morning. So what is this reflection we speak of? Every day in math, every time you do math, you need to do a reflection when you're done. And the reflection is going to help you feel like you actually accomplished something in math, know what it was you accomplished, be able to communicate with me how well you feel like you did and understood it, and then what is your goal for the next day? So it's a reflection and goal setting, setting piece. So first thing you'll need to do is enter the date, and there'll be another video showing you how to do this. And then you have four questions. What was the class goal today? And it says refer to the unit calendar. The unit calendar is in the grid. And that is the class goal, is what's in the date that you're working on. That's the class goal. Question two is just below that. What did I work on today? That's where you're going to tell me what you accomplished today. And if you got all of grid box 2E done, awesome, you can say that. If you only got part of it done, don't say, well, just part of it. Tell me the parts that you got done. Be spe as specific as possible. Question three, how well did I understand it? Refer to the levels of understanding. There will be a PDF linked that will show you the levels of understanding. It will be red, yellow, or green. And you'll see in my example later that I put in there a little bit more of an adjective of how I felt I did understanding what I learned today. And last question is what is my goal to work on on my next math work session? So next time you come to math, you'll know right where you left off because you can go to this journal and say, oh, that's right. I was going to work on the tracking sheet today. And then you know right where you left off in case you forget, because let's be real, A, I'm older, and B, you're in middle school, and we both kind of forget things. So it helps us remember what we're going to do.